All right. So now uh, it says that Noah has a bant deck. Yeah. That. Are we, are we more simicky? Is a lie. Mm, okay. Uh, he did draft white cards. He is not playing white cards. So as as I had said, I would have skewed the white cards. Noah agreed with me. He okay. did cut all of the white cards from his main deck. Okay. He's playing forests, islands, one misty rainforest. I dig it. Zach's mana base pristine, eight swamp, three island, <laughs> three island, two mountain, a blood crypt, a polluted delta, a prismatic vista, vista, excuse me, a volcanic island. There we go. Looking good. Now, of course, Zach immediately opens on one of his dual lands, which is erasing all of his problems, specifically the best one, Volcanic Island. Duh. Like he drew it up. Duh. Okay, Noah uh, will want to lead off on one of his Birds of Paradise Elvish Mystic cards. Zach uh, making some faces. Doesn't love his hand. But I think he's I think he's gonna be keeping. He might be on a mulligan, he's got a card in his hand on the right. Mm-hmm. If I was no, I would just play Black Lotus. That's smart. Yeah. I looks think like, they're both on a mulligan. Like they're both mulligan. Alright, let's do it. Let's head on down. Okay. Swamp for Zach. Snow cover. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Forest. Forest. Of the snow covered variety. Lots of basics in the both of these, and Zach has his turn too. All right, Talisman of uh, uh, Dominance, if memory serves. Mm -hmm. Talisman of Dominance, that's your, uh, that's your Demir Talisman here from Zach. So a little bit of ramp for Noah. He's got a snow-covered island. Looks like he may have a Talisman as well. He has a Lotus Cobra, your favorite. I am very much in a Lotus Cobra. Which he, uh, now he can at least play Cobra into something else, yep. so he's not leaving it open to get removed by something. Zach will play a Blood Crypt, tapped, pass the turn back over to Noah. All the man in the world for Zach. His hand is full. He has at least at least two other lands in his hand, maybe three. Uh, looks like he's going to be going with the Corsair Prefix. I don't mind this. Yeah. Let's take a look at the top card of the library. I took a dip. Ooh, Ooh yes. the secret's out. Yes. Yeah, yes. That Talisman for Noah is a Talisman of Curiosity. That's your Simic Talisman. There's a snow-covered island. Trigger the Corsair. Gain a life. So Noah's going to go back up to 20. So as good as this looks for Noah, Zach's not even remotely under the gun yet. So uh, he's going to have time to develop his board. And he, of course, he picks up Liliana the Veil immediately off the top. All right. Well, what do we want to do with Liliana? Maybe just minus here? Do you want a plus? Well... You're not getting. You're not going to get too much better with your minus. If you're seeing green, mm -hmm. green, you're going to think creatures. So c take care of the courser now, so you don't have to have worry about Lilian being pressured. Uh, now we know Noah has a consecrated sphinx in his hand that he's going to be deploying with this lotus, which that's powerful. Yes, not, uh, but again, uh, what's your option? You, not not you, much of one. Yeah, yeah. You can't really. If you're jacked, it doesn't appear you can do much of anything. So Noah's going to draw that Black Lotus. So uh, I don't know if you knew this. Pretty good magic card. He, he, he actually can deploy the Cobra and the Sphinx at the same time. W whether he does that or not, I'm not sure. Oh, I'd do that. Uh, well, I certainly would, well, too. Well, two-for-one special, aisle three. Yeah. All right, there's your Cobra. Give you two mana left over. You play a land, you trigger the Cobra. That'll give you four mana. And then Lotus gives you seven. Okay. Yep. Lotus. There it and is. It's going to come in and out of play pretty quickly, I believe. That card's available in Throne of Eldraine. Get your boxes today. Wait, no, hold on. That's not true. Here's Consecrated <laughs> Maybe Zendikar. Yeah. <laughs> we got some back stock, so uh, you want to pick a couple boxes up. All right, trigger on. Draw okay. two. All right, this is where it gets away. Uh, he did his removal spell yesterday, yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't look like he has one tomorrow, so that's yeah, going to be a problem. It's going to be a big issue. Consecrated Sphinx is a real uh, real problem. And uh, Noah, sure, I got plenty. He'll have plenty of cards to discard. Consecrated Sphinx is a, it's a real crackerjack. Uh, I think that if, with this board state, with what Zach has, Noah could let Zach thought seize him every time he plus Liliana. 
and the game wouldn't be close going the other direction. Uh, also, Noah just discarded a Hydroid Crisis, which implies his hand might have a little bit of strength. There's to, ah, there's old Bobby. Okay, so right. uh, this could be it. Uh, we could see an Emrakul come off the top, and that would be game. That's true. That's true. Zach likes to take some risks. He's got Dig Through Time, Emrakul, a bunch of other stuff. That and he drew a Mystic Snake. That must be nice. All right, beatdowns. Yeah, that's well. We know. Uh, we know Zach is not interested in trading. Zero trades. So Zach's got some more life to work with now. So Consecrated Sphinx took care of Liliana. And Lotus Cobra dealt Zach two. No block there with the with the Dark Confidant. So yeah, he's going to sit on this Mystic Snake until. Pro I don't know. It's going to be difficult. Mm, All right. Man of all. Okay, Zach's going to go to 17. Now, Zach may have drawn it up where he draws the Emrakul now and can cast that immediately. Mm -hmm. Would be nice. Now, do remember Dark Confidant is a reveal. It's not drawing a card. And now, Zach will draw a card, and Noah will draw two from the Consecrated Sphinx. Yep. Okay. Picks up a land and another spell. Uh, we don't know what Zach drew, but he's going to need to... Start by attacking? I yeah. agree. Yep. Always start by attacking. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, hopefully the Dark Confidant will deal more to know than it will Zach this game, but I am not confident in that. There's the Mana Vault. What's the follow-up? Four. Toxic, Toxic Deluge. Deluge. Now, now, is this paying is, that life part of the it cost? It is part of the cost. Mm. So he's going to be losing six, and the Mystic Stake's going to say, no mm. thank you. Uh, which, now here's the here's the worst news. That's going to get countered. Yeah. Zach's going to go to 11. He's going to get attacked for 10. And we know how that ends with Dark Confidant on Dark, the field. Oh, you think Dark Confidant's going to finish it? I think it will. Interesting. There, there's Toxic Deluge. Uh, things did not go there uh, well there for Zach. That got countered by old Mystic Snake. And now Zach will have to pass the turn back over to Noah, who Simic deck is humming along nicely. Yep. Black Lotus has done its job. Yes, yeah. It's a reason you don't pass that. And unfortunately, I think Dark Confidence is also going to do its job on Zach's upkeep. No way. No way. What are we hitting? Seven or 13? Four, five, six, seven, eight. I think Zach, that goes down to three. Nice. Got that. Uh... He's gonna he's gonna hit a land, and then oh no, Emrick what? But he's have an agent of treachery in his hand too. Uh yeah, and I I think he can cast it. I think so. I don't mean I'm not I'm not taking the dark confidant. I'm letting dark confidant kill Zach. Well, I'll take it that taking that mana vault. That'll work. Just take it. You take an artifact. You take a permanent. Oh, cool card. That's very powerful. Neat. Looks like he's. Pro I think he's just going to deploy the elf and just say, "Got to have it." All right. Let's see what it is. A two. We're at one. We're live. We're at one. Thank you very much. Draw two. Not mind twist. Uh, Did he draw? I think. Hold on. For some reason. For some reason, I think he has Emrakul in his hand. He has a mind twist. Okay. It's a mind twist and an abrade. Okay. I wish it were Emrakul, but I it's not. I wish it too. Yeah. Yeah, Mind Twist and her braid. Uh, should should just scoop it up. Doesn't dead. want him to know he has the Mind Twist. Yep. Dead, dead, dead. Yep. Noah Strass are going to win again. Number one here over Zach Hill. Simic up a game against Grixis. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Noah drawing his power first. Smart. Zach drawing it a dead on board. Yes. Mind Twist, Mana Vault, not enough there for Zach. Black Lotus, too good. Too good. No sideboards to go over. It's not that kind of event. This is a little bit more casual. A little more fun here with the cube. All right, so let's take a look at Noah's deck. What do you think about his build? He decided to go Simic instead of going uh, perhaps to those band colors we expected him to go to. Yeah, fully agree. Uh, I don't... After seeing how the, how the draft laid out with so few lands, uh, you're... You're way too risky on going with the white. you got to stick to the blue and green. So the white, what do we have? So what he's eschewing in the white... So what he's eschewing in the white is a Soul Herder, Spell Queller, Tristani Discordant, uh, and then a couple of mono white cards in a Sun Titan, Momentary Blink, Blade Splicer. All very powerful, but he just doesn't have the mana to support it. And he obviously, clearly has powerful enough blue and green cards, okay. as proven by that game. Okay. All right. When you discard Hydroid Crisis, you're probably doing it. Yeah, you're probably doing just fine, I think. 
Uh, so let's see. Zach decided to go Grixis. We expected that. Eight swamps, three islands, two mountains, a couple of uh, fetch lands and fixing. Uh, the Tangle Wire did not make it in. Duretti, you were a big fan of. Yeah. Dreadbore in. Electrolyze not. Yep. Sahili in. Emrakul, Karn Liberated, Mana Vault, Sensei's Divining Top. Talisman of, creat of Creativity and Dominance. Mm -hmm. Uh, Warm Coil Engine, all in the deck. Let's yep. go to the colored cards. I think we're going to see the Electrolyze come in. Uh, in this matchup, I, yeah. I certainly hope so. Dig Through Time, Impulse, Metamorph, Snapcaster Mage, Spellseeker, all in. The Shackles, predictably, in the board. Uh, Dark Confidant, we saw. Hymnatorak, Inquisition of Kozlek. Liliana of the Veil, vale, Mind Twist. Reanimates, Toxic Deluge, which got countered by Mystic Snake, all in. A Braid, we saw. That's in there. That's the only red card that's in the deck. So that's his deck. How does that grade out for you? Um, with your uh, with your building and testing of the cube, I actually think it's very solid. He honestly, if Zach doesn't if Zach doesn't get got by the Black Lotus, then he's going to be in a way better position. Yeah, okay. you're you're good. You're, it wasn't just the Sphinx drawing cards, but the fact you have a a, a flyer pressuring you as well mm -hmm. that it's very difficult to interact with. Honestly, I really I like if I could take the Lotus out of Noah's deck, I'd like Zach's deck better. Really? Bad, okay. Bad okay. news. Yeah, you can't take the Lotus out. Can't do that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, I think I think Zach's deck is just a little more flexible okay. uh, because of Noah spent so many of his picks picking those white cards that he has no ability to play. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. he has he has limited himself to like two sideboard cards. He's got like Night Pack, Ambusher. Maybe that's it. Tarmogoyf, which I don't think he wants. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to start Tarmogoyf in a deck like this. I don't either. Yeah. So, Nightpack Ambusher, that's his board. Okay. I think that's what we're going to see. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, not a bad card. No, it's very not good. Not a bad card, it's yeah. It's very good. Yeah. Um, oh, he also has Vincer. Uh, Vincer Saber Savant that he did not see. Uh, that's also something I would bring in. Okay. Now, he, now we know that, that Zach has got some large things. That he has to spend a lot of mana on. I don't know. Noah has not seen that yet, but I would imagine if he's seeing, I don't know. Maybe he's maybe he thinks with with Dark Confidant that Zach is not bold enough to play thirteen eights and sevens. But mm, well, I'll tell you a little something about Zach. <laughs> yeah. That Tangle Wire pick was an indication. There's uh, there's nothing Zach won't do. I'll say. So <laughs> I think I think Zach is going to be. So his ideal start here is uh, obviously swamps. Of course, he has eight of those in his deck. Discard spells, stuff like that. Exactly, yeah. 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 Inquisition of Kozlik into him to Turok. That can sew up a lot of games mm -hmm. on its own. Yeah. I mean, depending on how him goes, the game just ends on the spot. That's true. Right? So, so we, we know there's a history of that. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. yeah. Double strip mine is possible with him to Turok. And then that's game over right there. That is. All right, both these players have found configurations they appear to be happy with. Zach is in the uh, proverbial tank right now, figuring out exactly what he wants to do. But looks like he has found or has come close to finding a configuration that he's happy with as far as cards in and out are concerned. Noah winning that game pretty easily, though. Again, the power of Black Lotus on display. Yep. Yeah, and Noah was on the play that game. Uh, there is a, you know, a huge discrepancy for both of their decks specifically of being on the play because they, they're they so critical for having their one-mana cards mm -hmm. more than, you know... A lot of other decks, other than a, a red aggressive deck, like having something on turn one. Yeah. And Noah was able to do it that time without having that. Yeah. Black Lotus helped. Weird. Yeah. That's weird. So it wasn't the tracker turn I've been drawing up here, but, you know, Consecrated Sphinx on turn, uh, was it four? Yeah, turn four, Consecrated Sphinx. Mm -hmm. with, the, with the assist of a Black Lotus. Not bad. No. Not bad. How do you feel about Consecrated Sphinx and Cube? Obviously, it's, we saw it on full display there. Yeah, it's extremely powerful. It is, uh, it is one of the better blue creatures. Okay. Uh, it's obviously very expensive. I prefer cubes where it's less good, not because of its its power level, but because of the things that you use to kill your opponent before Consecrated Sphinx comes online. Okay. Um, and I, th uh, uh, I think cubes that uh, are tilted to allow for more aggressive decks. Do a better job in managing that card because if you're playing Battle Cruiser Magic, uh, Consecrated Sphinx can quickly take over the game, much like we saw in this one. Yeah, it did not take long for it to run away with that game. So now both players going to lay out their opening hands. We're, we're, are we operating underneath the London Mulligan in this? We are. Okay, just yep. want to make sure. AK Mulligan. Yeah, for <laughs> fair. <laughs> I don't know the rules of the road here in your cube there, <laughs> yeah. bud. Okay. It's a social format. All right. 
as as Gavin and I have determined, it's a social format. Um, but uh, I mean, you know, we do have a graphic right here, uh, ten thousand dollars on the line. So. Mm -hmm. Obviously, a lot going through both of their heads, making sure that they get the largest share of that. Oh, I'm, I'm picking up the and trophy. The, and the cube. And the cube. Yeah. I think just from weight alone and the marble that this cube is made of, you, honestly, it's more than, than 10K because you could probably pawn this off for a bit. <laughs> just for raw parts. Yeah. <laughs> Chop this up, put yeah. a nice finish on your countertop, yeah, you Cedric. Bet, you betcha. You betcha. <laughs> My place at home it needs a new it needs a new counter. So if you were, just a really light one. Yeah, if they if they came for the trophy, I've already taken it actually. If you go so. back to back, you can do both sides of the kitchen. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, our head judge is getting involved now. I, I believe there was maybe a split sleeve or something. I'm not in I'm not too sure. Hopefully we'll have the opportunity to find out from our table spotter. It looks like uh there are they are in pregame. Zach has drawn his hand. Mm -hmm. Always gotta love the end of an event. The noise of a convention. One of my on one of background. my one of my favorites. Yeah, one of my favorites. They're packing up the shop. Do you do you put the the noise of convention music on as you go to sleep every night? You know. I sleep to the rain, thank you. <laughs> Great. There's a lot of rain playlists on Spotify, and I sleep to those. But I could start a trend. Actually, I would want I would want to credit so, you, yeah. of convention center noises. <laughs> Great playlist. <laughs> so, yeah. so in Seattle, do you just have nothing going on? Yes. Yeah. 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 I just just ra you know. Actually, never mind. It does rain all the time. No one moved there. That's right. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, it's, it's it's Seattle's flooding right now. So please, no one ever even consider moving there because all it does is rain. Yeah. The first time that I went to Seattle was actually for the aforementioned re Pro Tour Return to Ravnica, which yeah. was in Seattle, yes, it was. where you were past a, a pack rat. Yes. Uh, and w I get there, and it's it's pouring at the airport. And someone that is obviously from Seattle is like, no, it never rains. This is so unusual. Yeah. It's like, dude, we didn't even say anything. Yeah. You're just like. <laughs> <laughs> no, all it does is rain. Please. Seriously, no one move there. The property prices just keep going up. It just rains. You're going to hate it. All right, Noah. Let's see if he finds a better. I hand. got good news and bad news. He has a black lotus in his hand. That's the good news. Okay. The bad news was for Zach. It wasn't for Noah. Ah, got it. Got it. Okay. Can't mull like this. Give me a turn one tracker land clue. <laughs> That's literally all I want to see happen. Zach really needs to have Inquisition of Code. Actually, like, a discard spell would be pretty good right now. Because Noah is most likely keeping his hand off of the strength of black lotus, mm -hmm. as one does. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and when you are planning on Black Lotus, because look, Noah is not, he is really debating, he's, he's, he's on six, he's really debating what to put back, uh, because he knows that, fragile hand, but he's going to get to deploy it. All right, we're underway. Blood Crypt, tapped. Yeah, get it out there. He kept a no land hand. This is what he's debating. What? Oh, boy. This is cube at its finest right here. This is what we came here to see. Lotus into Corsair missing on your land. Him to Turok? Oh, baby. We're off to the races now. This is how this is how Zach has lined it up. I'm sure he was squirming a little bit when the Lotus came down, and then when he said go with no, uh, no land drop. I think I would have mulliganed again. He couldn't resist. He I could know. not resist the Lotus. I know. So Gone. now uh, the good news for Noah is he will not be getting double strip mined. That's true. He's just going to lose two good cards: Thrag Tusk and Acidic Slime. Little ways away from both of those. Okay, so oh no, yeah. I get that damage in. Yeah, so that's important. I am qu questioning the hand more. Oh, are you now that I have uh, because? So you're keeping the hand on the strength of Black Lotus, but you have no opportunity in any reasonable amount of time to get to Thrag Tusk or Acidic Slime. Unclear as to who is winning right now. It's true. It could be flawless. If uh, Now, if Noah can draw a second copy of Black Lotus, uh, yes, I think yeah. he might be able to fight his way back. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> All right, Zach. Here comes Santa Claus. 
Now, there's a part of me that wants to see Zach deploy a Dark Confidant and lose this game outright. I'm kind of anyway. here for that. Reveal Emrakul, reveal Karn. Yep. Yeah. I'm kind of with it. Plus the Liliana. Don't worry. Noah's got no cards. No problem. Noah's got, got cards. He's got discard. plenty. Yeah. He's got a brainstorm in his hand. Let me tell you what's not going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a... Get rid of that brainstorm. There's not a world... Uh, you can't cast it. You we're, we're literally cannot cast it in the game. All right, Garrick down. Okay. Car into the bin? All right, tough guy. Back to Zack. Emrakul has been drawn. You know why? Why is that? That's a Planeswalker. Make that Emrakul cheaper. Ooh. He's just going to cast Emrakul to take a peek at his hand. All right, so Emrakul currently costing 11. Let's bring it down to 10, maybe. Bring it down to 10. Yeah, let's discard a Sorcery or a land, maybe. Didn't play land last turn. Well, actually, no, already, we got discarded instant. Inquisition, you what? He's got to see. His this, is, is, this is, wrap his it up, hand wrap is, it up. His, I would concede his wrap hand Wrap it up, yes. His hand is don't, horrible. Do not show. This is done. This is done. Don't be you too. have done. Do, so, do, okay. Do. So, here's, so, in Noah, what's going through Noah's head? I can win this game mm -hmm. by Zach taking my cheapest card right okay. now. Okay. That has to be what's going on. Because otherwise, this is just a concession. I, I want to conceal as much as I possibly can. Yeah. I do not believe you're going to be able to come back from this game after that Inquisition. I don't think you can with just the Liliana. Uh, yeah, I think that's just too much to overcome. I like taking the Monolith. Let's cut the mana out. Get a little servo for our troubles. Colin Roundtree sees one Invitational Champion in the house. Do you know what our... Uh our current Invitational Champion is going to be selecting for Food. his token. Food. Easy. Is he going to wait till Monday afternoon, or did he pick it today? It, he picked it today. Okay. Yeah. Yo, Oko ain't getting banned in standard. I got bad news for people. Got packs to sell. You got, <laughs> got packs to sell. <laughs> you bet. You bet. Ever cool a graveyard? Reckless. Better draw reanimate. All right. Zach will pass. That's another non-land card. He's gonna. Did he not attack with a servo? He made them both this turn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, he did. He did. What is this? Metamorph my talisman. talisman? We're taking you, some. You don't. You're not. He. He wants to trigger Sahili, but he's <gasps> not gonna happen. We are taking what I would say are some unconventional lines. This is the scenic route, yeah. Cedric. <laughs> He's sewn the game up. He just needs to see all of the cards in Noah's mm -hmm. deck. Okay. We oh. are back in it. Misty Rainforest, the luckiest draw I've ever seen. Yep. <laughs> back to Zach. That's a mind twist, I believe. That is... Nope, it's not. A mana vault. It's the we opposite could, of mind twist. We could lose a little more mana for that Emrakul that's in our graveyard. Make <laughs> a Colin Roundtree plus... Ah. Now, he's... He's tr he's he drawn drew, the fetch he drew, land. He drew the fetch. The only the only fetch in his deck <laughs> to go off the brainstorm. <laughs> That's right. He's gonna draw an island out for sure. All right, back to Zach. Dreadbore. I do I do feel bad for Noah because this. I don't know if this is the f if this, this is going to be the first time he's held a black lotus in his hand. Mm -hmm. You don't want to just shuffle that away, right? Well, he did. He did draw it last game. So if you want to touch it as many times as you there can. There you go. There you go. Zach wants to read Night Pack Ambusher. Mm. Do you uh, think he was looking at the mana cost or the text box? Mm, mana cost. All right, let's plus it. Now, uh, I will give credit to Noah. He has cleverly, completely avoided the uh, any any impact from Liliana's ultimate ability. Not anymore. Nope. Now it's two permanents. Yep. yep. Time to bring him down to size. Ah, okay. the zenith. So we're going to see Birds of Paradise here, uh, which I believe. Oh no, fair. Elvish Mystic is going to the bin anyway. Yep. So, whatever it is, we know where it's headed. Zach, I believe, has six counters on his Liliana right now. 
So it could ultimate it. There we go. Yeah. There it is. There it is. No, rubbing his hands together after that big draw step in his hand. Uh, like he's got one card left in his hand. Mm -hmm, yeah. I believe it is the Nightpack Ambusher. Uh, I believe that's true. Could ambush Zach. You might not see it coming. Beat downs. Okay. I'll be honest. I would have considered blocking there. Yeah? Well, okay. So, what are your options? This is going down, because that's... Well, we're at seven. Yeah. Oh, that was the last card to send. Yeah. Ooh. Hello! Hello, tireless tracker. Gums up the ground. Let's talk about it. What's your split here? Uh, lands versus... There you go. I knew you still had it. Yeah. I knew it. A little Wrath of God here. Mm -hmm. I knew it. What is Lands versus before pre-attack. Yeah, pre-, pre to, I like to a, I, I like I like a pre-combat Liliana activation. Yeah. Personally. Lands versus and maintaining eye contact with your opponent the entire time. I That's gotcha. important. I gotcha. Okay. Now, Zach obviously has drawn something. Clearly. I hope it's Electrolyze. Could be Spellseeker. It's Toxic Deluge. He'll get a servo and okay. immediately to the bin. Maybe we forgot our. Yeah, train? just okay. Yep. Now I'm going to kill one of your lands. Up to up to Noah, which one? Yeah, yeah, your call. Dealer's choice. All right. Oh, you get a servo and then it dies. It dies right? Yeah. Yes, yes. Immediately yes. to the bin. Took me a moment. Will Zach win this game? You know what would be a great draw? What's that? Any of the cards in his graveyard. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Up to three. Yeah. Next up. Yep, your turn. You're going to lose that one, too. Oh, Prismatic, Prismatic Vista. Vista. Yeah, play that. Up to, uh, up to four. Sure. Draw. Lotus yep, Cobra. Back in the game. That Cobra's dead. Sack the Vista. There you go. Down to 16. This is this is legitimate thinning. We really need it here for Zach. <laughs> Does Zach have any win conditions left? Yeah, he has that. He has Wormhole Engine in his deck still. Are you sure? Nope. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, are you, are you sure it's still in his deck? Because I'm not. Does he still have the reanimate in his deck? Don't know. He has spells with the servos. He does I have guess. spells. He he has spell seeker. And he, de he did not cut uh, Snapcaster Mage. He's got that. All right. All right. Big okay. draw. Big draw. Ele There's bzz, Electrolyze. Bzz. I just send that upstairs, see what you draw, plus... Black, blue, give me a red. There we go. Yep. Let's tap different then. And... Mm, I just send, mm. send that upstairs. You have Liliana going up to three. He's going to play a creature. You can just kill that. How about unstep? Uh, I, I like it less unstep. I, I, I like it less unstep as well. We, what if we drew something we wanted to cast? Also, we got to make a servo here. There we go. And now, you, now Liliana's down one. And you know what it was? Dark Confidant. Would like to have that on the battlefield Would've right now. Right? Wonder if old Bobby be hanging out on the battlefield. I think there's a dig through time? It's a good magic card. Now, see, the fools that we were, he would have yeah. cast the Dark Confidant, take an 8 off the dig through <laughs> time, then we'd have a game. Some, some, One step ahead. Somehow. Some, oh, it's, it is Spell Seeker. Okay. I was going to say, come on. Is that going to take a little looksky poo? Easy place to start. Let's get the easy stuff out of the way. Attack with the servo. Serve with the servo. That's right. My favorite play of this game, of all of the great plays, has been uh, Phyrexian Metamorph on Talisman of Dawn. Yeah, not my, uh, well, you know, I'm not here to judge so much. But if I were, wouldn't be how I used it. 
by a little bit of a higher ceiling for the uh, metamorph. Spell secret. This card's busted. Um, do not get the twist. What is that? That's a reanimate. All right, that should do it. Yep. That should end the game. You know what I would target? My, opponent, my opponent's Courser. Really start to build an advantage. Well, now he can't. So, okay, so. Wait, hang on. Well, he's, he's what playing. Are we what are we targeting here? He played Bob. And now, at this point, I would target the Night Pack Ambusher. Okay, what are we doing? What are we, what are we getting with this? Oh, no. He no, could, he could no. die. He could die. <laughs> no, Zach. Wait, no, he copies Emrakul. Yeah, he copy Ember. Uh, he becomes Ember Cool. Okay. Oh, yeah. What is that? Is that a removal spell? I just have the blue for the cut. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Ooh. A little risky. Has, has trample either way. All right. But. Fine. 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 A little risky business. There feels like He's maybe just trying a to keep us on our toes. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Zach Hill, Noah Strasser, top. They're all tied up. They're okay. all tied up. You know what we got, Justin? What do we have? We got some deckless oh, graphics. I love deckless. Who do you want to start with? Let's start with Noah, because he's going to be on the play for this game. Well done. Here, natural in the booth. Noah Strassler, so let's take a look at uh, what he's got. Oh, hello. You want to give me a little rundown here? All right, so, well, exactly what we expect, um, uh, except for that brainstorm. He should, uh, he should get that out of his deck and replace it with anything. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't believe he's going to do that. I don't think so. Um, how how, do you, how does this grade out? This deck there's obvi there's a black lotus in here. See, it's a thing. It uh, black lotus makes it grave on a curve. Yeah. Like I we we can't remove the lotus. The lotus is extremely powerful in this deck. He has uh, three cards. Actually, excuse me. He has four cards that are extremely high impact cards to cast early off the lotus. Garrick relentless, uh, Ugin, tireless tracker, consecrated sphinx. And you could even argue agent of treachery, but but even without Agent, uh, this deck is relying on the Lotus and the Grim Monolith so much to really get those heavy hitters out as quickly as they possibly can. But if they don't, even let's let's say that uh, Noah didn't have the Lotus that last game. Mm -hmm. Like, what is his hand looking like? He has a lot of like uh, like fours and fives and things higher on the curve, so. It, it's it, he has to he really needs that early mana so so critically, which is just going to make his draws and mulligans be be very very difficult, especially on the play because it's even more critical on the play. This is his last chance to do so. Other side of things, what do we got here for Zach Hill? Take a look at his deck. Boom. Yeah, I, I do love this deck. This is this is this is a this is a deck right up my alley. A Patrick Chapin original. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i a big fan here. I think I would I would operate this deck differently than Zach would operate it. Okay. But that being said, uh, he's got a great curve. Mm -hmm. he, has, he has removal at pretty much every point. He can take care of essentially every permanent type except for enchantments, but that Grixis is not ever going to do that other than, of course, his uh, discard effects. Okay. So... He, he wisely, despite having a handful of other things that are not black, Sahili, Dig Through Time, Spellseeker, Snapcaster, all of these cards, a lot of he, his black versus non-black is actually pretty even, but Zach, knowing where his bread is buttered, eight swamps in the deck. Okay, that's... He needs to lead with a lot of black mana to be able to have the best starts possible, which are all having to do with black black cards. Okay. All right. I think both these decks are totally fine. I'm also excited to see what the other decks look like. But for now, mm -hmm. let's get ready for our next next game of this match. Pardon me. These players shuffling up, getting ready to rock yep. and roll. Yeah, I think uh, between the two, Zach is... Is least is less hurt by being on the draw than Noah yeah. is. I agree. So. He's got more early interaction. Yeah. He's also got a mana vault. We got eight players in this cube draft. After this round, we'll have four. We got to crown ourselves a champion here at the end of it. When all is said and done, give him this big old brick. Mm. <clears throat> Seven and a half pounds is a pretty good guess. It was. Yeah. It was very close. Yeah. It's nice, though. I wonder where you get one of these things done. Jeez. 
kind of just want one for my house. Can I play in the next one of these? Only if I can. <laughs> <laughs> I've wanted to. I've wanted to both years, but I can only imagine the tweet storm. Yeah. Oh, Pardell playing in his own okay, cube yeah, shop. Yeah, that's right. That. That's that's weird. How'd that happen? Nope. I want to play in one of these. I love cubing. I haven't cubed in a long time. Yeah. There should be a cube pro tour. Let's go ahead and get that working. Excuse me. Well, cube you know, mythic mythic championship. championship. Actually. Cube, Cube players, players tour. tour regional yes. finals. Yes. Um, we did have our last, actually, uh, at Magic Fest, God, at Mythic Championship Richmond. Okay. The first player that qualified for a Mythic Championship via Cube. Really? Invitational champion Jacob Ball qualified at Gen Con. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I, that's right. I remember I talked to him about that when I was I there did. last weekend. Yep. Yeah. I commentated that with Gavin. Yeah? Yep. See, I think we need to work Cube a little bit more into competitive uh, Magic, I think. Not just for it. Magic Online anymore. You know, we can have a little talk about this. All right. SCG Cube Open. That's, I have hey, no idea you're how talking, that, You're talking have, my language. I have no idea how that would even it happen. It doesn't probably, but I yeah. like the sound <laughs> of it. I'll have you and Stephen Green do the broadcast. Yeah, Stephen, uh, now, you bring up Stephen. Stephen was actually one of the, the testers for the cube. Okay. He is a much better Magic player than his personality suggests. His persona. His yes. persona suggests, yeah. Stephen's actually a, a, a pretty strong drafter okay. overall. I would say he's probably a better drafter than he is player. Not that that's a knock on him, but uh, he does know his way around the cube. I'm a, better, I'm a better drafter than player. Me too. Yeah, I know that. This thing, This whole game thing is hard. Yeah, but you throw. You want me to? You need a good cube draft deck. I got you. Yeah, draft all day. Assuming you like planes, uh, which I do. You got, you got any? Got any non-basic lands <laughs> that make more than one color of mana? Never heard of them. Yeah, you know why? Because they all die to Armageddon. They sure do. Yeah, Looks they all like, look the same in the graveyard. They sure do. Make the same number of mana in the graveyard. Right where they belong. Noah's gonna send it back. Looks like Zach's gonna keep his hand. If Zach's keeping a. Uh, I th Ooh. So Noah, Noah's going to five. Not great. The allure of the Black Lotus might be too strong. Or perhaps he maybe has learned from his last game and has sent back a land light hand that had a Black Lotus in it. Uh, so this is where Zach is going to be able to really punish Noah. He, he, this is the worst, has to be the worst deck to play against in the cube, the worst opponent to mulligan to five against. In, in Zach's. Discard him to Torak, all that stuff. It is, it is d danger zone. Yep. Bad news bears. Yep. Even worse, uh, if if Noah's not able to deploy his stuff fast enough and, and Zach can pick something off with one of his discard spells and reanimate early, then uh, Noah is going to be very good at going over the top of things, but mm -hmm. not good at removing opponent's creatures. Yep. Makes total sense. All right. We're about to be underway here. Noah does not look happy about his hand. And he certainly doesn't want to go down to four. Yeah, I think he's keeping so. it and deciding on the bottoms. Okay. All right, let's do it to it. It's not covered forest. Okay. Now, this is a reasonable five. Looks like he's got uh, two lands, Lotus Cobra, <laughs> Course of Crew Fix, Consecrate Fix. Okay. That hand right. plays. That yeah, hand plays. Yep. You know, if he gets him, the game's over, but that's going to happen at any that's point. That's going to happen at any point. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough to play around that. The only way to play around that, Black Lotus, didn't work out last time. Yep. Well, what do we got here? Maybe a removal yeah. spell? If if Zach has a removal spell, you have to fire it off, because the way for Noah to get back into this game from the mulligan point is deploying something ahead of schedule. Yeah. If uh, if Zach doesn't kill this this cover and he draws like a misty rainforest, this game becomes very interesting. Instead, he draws the most expensive card in his deck. Yeah, Asian treachery. Yeah, not a, not the best draw there for Noah, unfortunately. Let's see what the follow up is if there is one. Nope, nothing. He's got a courser he's waiting to deploy, but uh, you know need to see a land come off before that happens. Zach's got a card, mm -hmm. so this is where he's going. I think he's going to go electrolyzing now. Mm. There you go. Yeah, that's. Uh, that's going to make this tough. Yep. That was a land. 
Okay, we ha I, I believe I saw a Tasker in Zach's hand. Now, you're talking about Tasker's going to cost four a lot? It probably will. Also probably going to be good enough. Yeah, well, yeah. a little something to do in the mid-game. Yep. Well, we can deploy Courser if we'd like. Well, uh, it's that or uh, Eternal Witness, get mm -hmm. back your Lotus Cobra, which I like significantly less. Well, there's a Courser. There's a Courser. We're fellows. Okay. okay. All right. That's a magic card that matters. These are cards mm -hmm. Zach has to remove. That's right. He's after a Blood Crypt. He's got a Dread Boar. Got a Dread Boar. Got some interesting cast in Dread Boar. Courser's annoying enough that I'd want to kill it. I, I think it is, too. Because what's your option? Are you waiting for that Rafelos? And then, at that point, you have a land coming off the top, potentially, from Courser. And mm -hmm. that's half of the Rafelos there. And if you do that a couple of times, then you've already you've spun your wheels enough where you should have just killed it in the first place. Okay. So we have a, a Diabolic Edict-type effect in Lilith's Triumph. Okay. And he will now for sure be able to take care of Noah's next play, which is undoubtedly going to be that Rofalus we saw on the top. Yep, we got the opportunity to kill that. So Zach's going to untap those lands, draw a card. Liliana's Triumph was played last turn. Sorcery speed, but a mind due to twist. Now, here comes uh, Noah's most likely least favorite question. How many cards do you have in your hand? Yeah, not a great question. I would do the twist. Yep, yeah, I'm firing it off. Yeah. My plan has three cards in hand. I can take care of them all. There's a twist. Some good artwork on that one. Yep, yeah, it's classic. Yeah, I mean, he is considering because, you know, it's... Uh, now, he does have a, a dread board to follow up whatever is on the top of Noah's deck. Of mm -hmm. course, the ultimate enemy of discard spells. But you have to just... you got to just take this out. You're trading... Your your four mana for a potential ten mana worth of stuff from now. I mean, I can see an argument for killing the, the Rofellos uh, right now. We know that Strassler has an Eternal Witness in hand, so can Eternal Witness the thing back. We could also just twist for two. For two. Okay. This is this is bold. Yeah. I don't I don't hate. Oh, he's oh, like, yeah. hold on, no, no, hold no, no, on, no, friend. No, 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 no. We discarded random around these parts. You get to keep let's, one of those. Let's roll for the keep. Middle one. Nope. Now roll, let's, roll now let's, let's do it the super inefficient way. Yep. There we go. You lose. Sphinx and I think Witness. Yep. So uh, I actually do not remember the last card left in Noah's hand. We're going to see it here in a second. Mm. Nothing he can cast. Probably one of those five. Uh, I, believe, I believe it is Agent of Treachery. Ah. Yes. We're a little uh, ways. Yes. We're a little ways away from that. Zach taking a little look through the bin. Might have Snapcaster Mage in his hand now. Noah's been the one asking the questions. Zach has had the answers, but uh, they're still hovering around 20, and that, that Tasker's not yet deployed, although it looks like it's going to be in short order. Yeah, it's not hard for Zach to do. Yeah, so there's Tasker. The Golden Fang. He'll delve away a couple of cards. Looks I think like he's keep the Dread Boar. Yeah, I think Dread Boar's the best of the bunch, given the situation. Yep. Food for Snapcaster Mage later. Mm-hmm. And now Zach's got a real clock in the battlefield, working towards a Karn, too. Yep. There is Tasker. Yeah, and, and Zach's going to be a great... Uh, really, this Tasker, I think, is going to be very difficult for Noah, not only as a 4-5, but if he's kind of just hanging around, not doing much else... Uh, we're going to see it start accruing a lot of value out of the graveyard. There's an impulse. A land's not terrible. The sooner you get to seven, the sooner that card's going to get deployed. Yep. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him just take a land. I think that's what he did. Yeah, the only thing about impulse, you don't have to reveal. You do not. You just get to look at the top four cards and yep. take one. Yep. Very minimal downside of taking a land because if you if you find yourself with nothing to do, you get to activate Tasker. Yeah, you get to take Tasker and you're one land closer to Karn. Yeah. And Karn's the uh, Karn's the check mark on this game. Yep. So.
All right, Zach will pass it back. We're going back over to Noah. Noah running out of opportunities to make virtually any play. He he's, has cards he can deploy, but they're not they're not going to be uh, getting getting him back into this game. Tasker is going to turn that's over a land. A Vista to Delta. All right. Well. Well, that's uh. Yep. Can't pick one of those, friend. Uh, Either an impulse or dreadboard's going back. Well, the good news is he cannot cast. I give him impulse because he can't cast it now. Sure. He gives him back Dreadbore. If if he had blue mana up, I give him Dreadbore. If he otherwise, I give him the impulse. Uh, looks like I think Zach has the seventh land. He does. Okay. Yep. Well, w not scared of one blue. No, no reason to be. And now now uh, Karn's going to go to ten plus eight of treachery, treachery down. So. This one probably is a wrap now. Yep. Yeah, I think uh, I actually do not believe that Noah has a single answer in his deck for Karn. Mm-hmm. And once Karn's on the battlefield, it's just too much loyalty. Mm -hmm. It's too powerful. Birds of Paradise and Green Sun Zenith in hand. Not entirely sure what Zenith can find in a spot like this. I'm not sure Noah knows either. He's going to go through a sideboard yeah. here really quick, but the carnage well, has begun, my friend. Well, let's take a look at, uh, at Noah's deck. What he could possibly get that has not already been gone. Oh. Tireless Tracker. It's his only option. Okay. That's what he's going to be getting with this. The Eternal Witness is gone. The Courser is gone. Have you considered Iced Fang Kotal? <laughs> so why, sure, it why not? It sounds like you haven't. Yeah, why not? J Please. Cedric, well, what do you think about that. I want to personally apologize. Mm -hmm. I was fooled by the overtapping of I, mana. I understand. Yeah, maybe there's a green floating for the birds of paradise in him. Maybe, maybe I that. I feel like we're going to see this other forest tap I to have deploy the bird. I'm feeling you may be right, but no, because if Karn goes up, you let you let Noah take the bird. Excuse me, you let Zach take the bird instead of your and then you, your Thrag Tusk that you drew. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And. Okay. That's got death touch. I would take a. I would. I would not stop would not at the attack. Tasker beats. Unfortunately, you gave him back that dread boar. It's true. I was here for that. I remember. Yeah. Uh, it's not as though Zach really needs to speed through to end this game, but uh, that's that's adorable. Yeah. Metamorphos copied a Talisman and an Ice Fang Kotal. That's where we're at in this just, game. Just like we would have thought. That's right. Uh, there's Liliana. a Liliana, yeah. which he has the swamps to be able to do so. I would cast that. Yeah. There we go. I think we're. I would go upstairs, take both of those cards out. Yeah. I, the car I, nope, he does not. I want him to do whatever gets this game over with the fastest. So <laughs> whatever... <laughs> Whatever that is, I want Zach to do. There we go. Yep. Yeah, I would have taken both of those cards out. Reduce all of the options. What is the Coatl going to do? It has Death Touch. I can't so, attack then. So have Death Touch. Yeah, I can't attack then. But you also have a Coatl because your Metamorph is now a Coatl. If there's only, if only there were some way to kill this Thrag Tusk. Yeah, that could just get uh, get eggs out. You still get a beast it's now. True. You still get the beast. True. Oh, we got a beast token. Come on. We got a Todd Anderson around these parts. Yeah. There right, he now, is. Now Todd gets dreadboard. There we go. Yeah. That's good. I, that's one of my one of, one of my favorite coverage etiquette things is make him get the token, and, and then, then kill, kill it. it. Yeah, and then yeah. kill it. Yeah. yeah, I'm a big. I'm a very big fan of that. Yeah, I'm for that too. Yeah. Go ahead and get that out of the box. All right, that's that attack you. Big. Noah's down to seven. What's his best draw? Probably Black Lotus, so he can touch it one more time before he has to give it back. Smart. Smart. I think I agree with that. Misty. There's the fetch. First, the, the best card in his deck. That's right. Other than Black Lotus. That's right. Oh, well, Zach can't help himself. He's got to activate that Tassiger. I mean, you got it. Might as well do it. Yep. 
There you go. I don't believe he's selecting Duretti. I think he just wants to read it. Mm -hmm. A very powerful planeswalker. It is a very powerful planeswalker. Of the Rakdos tribe. I wouldn't give him that or anything <laughs> in his graveyard. Noah is carefully considering. Yeah, I would take a. I would take as long as possible on this decision. I would. Hopefully, we can run over into tomorrow with being in this convention, so we can pay to be here an extra day. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, he's, he's got to put into two now. Yep. The real answer to the question is Hydroid Crisis. But it doesn't matter. No, no, it does not. It does not. Liliana up to three. Next up for Mr. Hill. Activate. <laughs> why? Why? He's do why are you doing this to me, Zach? Why? Oh, I think I know what's going to happen. Okay. We're going towards a car and restart. If that happens, I'm off the set. I'm <laughs> I'm right out of here. Do it alone. Oogin. This will buy him. No, it won't buy him a turn. Really think about this one, Noah. When do you want to kill Justin? Uh, well. Gone. Fantastical. See you later. I would have killed the Ice Fang Coatl just. To Can't multicolored. Well, never mind. I'm wrong. I'm just wrong. Can't. Just to prove a point. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Draw a card. Here we go. No, Probably. I, I will point out that this was the play that made Noah not dead. That's true. There you go. Minus here. Pretty important that we kill that Ugin. There, it's, it's gone now. Puts you to one. Yeah. There it is. This is the grind fest. That's a word to describe it. This is the grind fest. Is he casting reanimate? You know, probably. He's, oh, I think they're discussing when I restart the game, I'll have all of these to enter the battlefield. Uh, Inquisition you. What was that? No, that was a discard Inquisition to Liliana. Excuse me. I want to confirm. I don't, I don't know if there are any rules of the draft that I did, I did not know. There's a carry. <laughs> We are fighting it. Still going. It's going to transform that. Yep. Okay. Garrick the Veil Curse is here. It's got two. Yes, two it, loyalty. Yes it, yes, it does. Got to take that for the restart. That's right. Uh, it's true. Okay. <laughs> now let's be sure we have that Karn loyalty it, it, exactly <laughs> correct. Yes, I agree. I agree. Zach now surveying the board. Now, see, this is where I just want to point out the reminder that despite $10,000 being online, this is a social game. A social Always. game for a social format. A social experience. Noah, despite getting his brains bashed in in this game, looks mm -hmm. like he's having a great time. And now, and now, the answer. The game, oh, yes. I like it. Oh, Not, yes. No. You know, no, here's what I want to see. Attack before damage, crack fetch. Is that a not an attack? No, I'm going to attack. That's ah, it. Zach it Hill, everybody, wins this game and match over Noah Strassler. Two games to one. A 53-minute affair goes to the player on the right. Grixis takes care of Simic. Had that gone another turn, this may have gone <laughs> through the screen. <laughs> yeah. It's not quite green-white devotion mirror, but it sure did feel like it. Guess what? Semifinals on the way. We do. Pretty pumped for that.